What's up guys, Jordan Schumacher here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I go through my ad audit process. And so it doesn't matter how good of a marketer you are, it doesn't matter how good of a, a paid traffic advertiser you are, at some point, your ad campaigns are going to tank. The results are gonna tank, uh, leads are gonna increase, cost per sale is gonna increase, they're gonna become unprofitable, something is going to happen, Facebook's gonna change, something in their algorithm, Facebook's randomly gonna disapprove all of your ads. At some point, I guarantee you, something is going to happen to your ad campaign and you're gonna have to go through what I call an ad account audit. Now, this skill is obviously incredibly important if, if, if you're running a live ad account and, and you need to troubleshoot and figure out what's going wrong in a, in a very short amount of time and fix the problem and get your campaign back to profitability. It's also an incredibly important skill to have if you are trying to come on add value and, and take over a new client or get hired at a job, basically you, you have to have the ability and the skill set to be able to take a look at all of the data that your paid ads account is giving you, understand the signal through the noise, understand what the data is telling you, and then make data-driven decisions based on what you're seeing. And so. I'm gonna talk through this as if it were a Facebook ads account audit simply because most of you watching this are most interested in Facebook ads, but this concept applies to any ad platform, whether it's Google ads, Pinterest, Snapchat, uh, Display, any of the other ad platforms out there, this process applies the exact same way. And actually, I'm not even gonna show you the Facebook business manager screen uh, because it, it doesn't matter. What's important here are the steps and the process that you're following to actually conduct your ad account audit. And so my ad account audit follows a few very, very specific and intentional steps. So the first step is to really get a crystal clear understanding of what my funnel looks like. And so for the purposes of this example, let's say that we are running ads to sell some sort of, of digital program or course uh, using a traditional ad to webinar to phone sales funnel. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get crystal clear on what the funnel looks like for the ad campaigns that I'm actually auditing and for the ad campaigns that I'm trying to optimize. So. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just get out my, my iPad or, or a plain white piece of paper and just map that out. And so in this case, it, it's going to look like an ad to a webinar, to an application page, to a sale, which is, which is done over the phone. And so this is what my funnel looks like. This is what I'm trying to map out. And so the next thing that I'm going to do then is I'm going to find the data because when you log into your ad campaign, you're gonna be presented with just an overwhelming amount of data and like ad frequencies and feedback scores and all of those things, which can be great, ultimately don't give you that much actionable insights and actionable data to act on. And so the only things that I typically focus on are what are called KPIs or key performance indicators and essentially what a KPI is, is a measurement of each uh, important step of your funnel. And so in this case, we've got a couple important steps. We have the actual registration that happens when you click on the ad and then sign up for the webinar. You have uh, the actual number of people who watch the webinar. You have the people who actually apply to book a call. And then you have the people who actually purchase. And so what I do is I say, okay, I've got these four KPIs. Now I need to figure out what is going wrong in this funnel. And to do that, I need to figure out what's actually happening inside this funnel. And so what I do is I start with the end and I work my way backwards. And so this is, let, let's just pretend that we're selling a $5,000 product. So this is a $5,000 product. Now I'm just gonna use some, some standard benchmarks that, that I've experienced. Ultimately, your benchmarks are gonna be different based on your market, based on the historical data of your ad account, based on your, your client, your products, et cetera. You are going to use whatever historical data you have for your benchmarks. Uh, that's, I mean, that's why it's really, really hard to audit a brand new ad account with no data because you don't know what's broken. And so that's why really when you're optimizing an ad account, 
Um, if, you, if you want it to be anything other than a guess, you need to have historical data to work with. And so I'm just going to use hypothetical data, which is, which is more or less uh, the standard benchmarks for, for kind of a, a selling a digital product or, or a digital course of some sort. So let's say um, we're selling a $5,000 product and we want, uh, we, we basically want a 5X ROI on our ad spend, right? Which means that we're willing to pay $1,000 to acquire a customer. And so before I get into that, the metrics that I'm measuring here are cost per lead. Um, we are measuring cost per attendee. We're measuring cost per appointment and cost per customer, which is actually C. C A C. So cost to acquire a customer. So if we're selling a $5,000 product and we know that we only want to pay $1,000 for a customer just based on the profitability of the product and predetermined KPIs, that's going to be what our cost to acquire a customer is, is $1,000. Right? And we know typically with phone sales, you're going to close, assuming you have a competent sales team, you're going to close 30% of the people that you, 33% of the people that you get on the phone with, which means essentially we can afford to pay one third of $1,000 per appointment. We can afford to pay $300 per appointment. If we're paying $300 per appointment and we're closing a third of the appointments, that means that we're paying $1,000 to acquire a customer, right? Now we know that of the people who actually attend the webinar, let's say um, it's probably closer to five to 7%, but because I don't have a calculator out for the sake of math, let's say 10% of the people who actually attend the webinar end up booking an appointment. That means that we can afford to pay $30 per webinar attendee, right? 300, if 10% if of the people who attend your webinar actually book an appointment, you're paying $30 per attendee, that means you're paying $300 per appointment, right? Which, which lines up here. And we know of the people who sign up for a webinar, who opt in for a webinar, 50% of them will actually show up to the webinar, which means we can afford to pay $15 per webinar lead. And so now we have, what are our funnel KPIs, right? This is essentially the map that you're going to use to determine where in your funnel something is broken, what needs to be optimized and what needs to be fixed. So the, these are your funnel KPIs. They're not gonna be exactly, but they're, they're gonna give you a rough benchmark with 60 degree accuracy, which is really all you need. So once you have these, these are your ideal funnel KPIs. The next thing that you need to do is just go in and actually pull your data over the last 30 days, over the last seven days, pull a few different periods of data and actually see how that data maps up to these funnel KPI numbers. And so, for example, if you pull your data and you realize you're getting, um, let's say, $30, $30 CPLs, well, all of a sudden you know that, okay, the issue exists here, right? It exists somewhere in here. So it could be the ad, it could be the landing page, but somewhere in here, you have a problem because your CPL is twice as expensive as, as you've said it could be based on your KPIs, that means you have a problem in here. So it's not gonna work to work on your, you know, your phone sales. Uh, it's not gonna work to work on your webinar because the issue is right here. So you can test new ads, you can test new landing pages, you can test new webinar hooks, but all of your focus now is gonna be on either the ad or the landing page. Now let's say your cost per attendee is too high, right? That tells you that the issue is somewhere in here. And so if your cost per attendee is too high, that probably means that one, your webinar follow-ups aren't good enough, right? So people are registering, but they're not being reminded to attend the webinar. And so your cost per attendee is too high. Or it could just mean that your webinar hook, the topic of your webinar is just not interesting and no one's showing up to it. So maybe you need to test a different webinar hook, a, a different webinar angle. Now, if your cost per appointment is too high, then that tells you that the issue is probably somewhere here. 
So either your webinar is just not giving people enough reason to actually book a call or your application page is, uh, is just not optimized for CRO. People aren't booking, right? It tells you that you can either focus on your webinar or your application page. And now if your cost to acquire a customer is too high, but all of your other KPIs here are in line, that tells you that, that your phone sales are just not closing. And so you're not converting at a 30% phone sales rate. So you should look at that, that script. You should look at you know, the, the, the quality of prospects that, that you're, you're talking to. It tells you that the issue is somewhere in the actual phone sales conversation process. And so really like a, a lot of people that I see who are trying to figure out what's wrong with their ads and what went wrong and they just like freak out and, and get overwhelmed, it's because they're trying to look at all of the data that Facebook provides you. And the reality is 98% of the data that Facebook provides you is, is pretty much useless. Like it, it's cool to have, it's cool to see, but you don't really need it to make decisions. All you need to make decisions are a good understanding of the funnel that you have in place and a good understanding of the KPIs within that funnel. And so once you sort of determine, okay, what is it that I'm trying to solve for? So step one, identifying that funnel and then what are the key performance indicators of that funnel your kpis from there you can reverse engineer what needs to happen and then you can map out okay what what what's actually happening what are the facts what's actually happening here where should it be and then based on that you can see your discrepancies and you can understand where to lock in and actually troubleshoot and figure out what's going wrong if this video made sense, if, if you got value in this, it would mean the world to me if you subscribed to this video. Please, if you have any questions or comments or disagreements, leave a comment down below. I try and answer 100% of them. I'm curious. Question number one, have you ever had your ads just completely go to shit on you? And question number two, how do you actually go about troubleshooting and figuring out what went wrong with your ads campaign. Do you use a process like this or do you do something different? I'm curious. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.